Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm here at LG Display's private booth at CES 2019 and I'm going to attend various sections of new display technologies that this very innovative South Korean brand has come up for this year. And I'm going to start off with the OLED section, which is obviously of interest to a video enthusiast like myself. And here we have the 8K OLED. And I think we saw at CES last year in 2018 that LG Display has actually shown off a prototype of the 88-inch 8K OLED television. And you can see it here. This is the same product but what's different this year is that LG Electronics has managed to commercialize this into an actual product so if you have seen my video a few days ago there was an announcement by LG Electronics saying that they can now start selling the Z9 or Z9 in the UK and Europe 8K OLED television starting from the second half of this year and the headline feature is the 8K native resolution of 7680 times 4320 pixels. OLED is a self immersive technology and you get true blacks, truly inky blacks because every pixel can be switched off independently from each other and also you get vibrant colors, you get very wide view angles with the colors and contrast that don't really desaturate off axis even from really extreme angles. So this is the 8K, 88 incher, but new for 2019, what LG Display has actually done is to make a smaller version of their 8K OLED, and this is the 65 inch version. And they have managed to actually squeeze down and miniaturize and shrink the sub pixels to be able to fit over 33 million pixels onto a 65 inch screen. And this product is currently not out on the market yet, but I've been informed by LG Display that there are some plans among TV manufacturers to bring the 65-inch 8K OLED television to the market maybe in the fourth quarter of 2019. And one thing that I really note is that here you can see a tablet that actually shows the specifications in terms of the peak brightness, in terms of the DCI-P3 color color coverage of the 8K OLED. So contrary to some earlier concerns, there will be no drop in peak brightness, no drop in luminance, and no degradation in color, even when you go from 4K to 8K. And I can tell you now that according to this tablet here which gives out the specifications the peak brightness is going to be 800 nits just like last year on a 10 percent window at d65 white point and then if you go up to 25 percent apl it is going to be 500 nits and on a full field white it is going to be 150 nits which is the same as last year and dcip3 color gamut coverage is going to be 99 percent and these figures will apply to both the 88 inch version and also the 65 inch version and I'm going to move on to the next section, which is the Crystal Sound OLED. And now we come to the Crystal Sound OLED or CSO section. And this is a technology invented by LG Display that allows some actuators to be placed behind the OLED screen and then produce sound directly from the screen. And if you have been following the TV market for some time now, you'll know that Sony has adopted this technology and implemented it on their Bravia A1 and also the AF8 and also the AF9 series as the acoustic surface technology. But for this demonstration, what LG Display has done is to actually improve upon the quality that has been provided before. So previously, if you remember, there were first of all two actuators and then eventually it became three actuators with a center channel. But new for 2019, LG Display has at least on this 88 inch 8K OLED placed two extra actuators on top and then two extra low frequency drivers at the bottom giving us 3.2.2 sound and as the demonstration will show as the UFO actually travels around the screen you can really shut your eyes and imagine the sound actually emanating from that part of the screen. Now I think having a 3.2.2 localization 
is going to be more useful on a larger screen in terms of the precision. So yeah, this is another technology that makes OLED really quite unique among the display technology market that they produce sound directly from the screen giving you more synchronization between the audio and also the video when you sit down and enjoy a movie or any other content you watch. CSO or Crystal Sound OLED is also available to be certified by Dolby for Atmos output. So if let's say Sony or Panasonic or LG Electronics they decide to implement or incorporate Dolby Atmos on their Crystal Sound OLED, then this panel is ready for certification by Dolby Laboratories. Okay, now what we'll do is to move on to the next section, which I think is going to be the most exciting part of this video. And here we arrive at the section where we see what, in my opinion, is the most exciting product that you can actually buy at this CES 2019. This is LG's rollable OLED 65 inches. It has actually got a model number, the R9, that has been given by LG Electronics. And LG Display, the panel maker, is actually using the actual product inside this demonstration booth here and I'm very, very excited to really see this in its flash at this moment in time because last year when I visited the private booth with LG Display at CES 2018 I saw a prototype. Let's be honest here, the box didn't really look as classy as this and at that time it is a prototype. I mean the idea of it is extremely appetizing but now that you actually see it in the flesh I'm not actually allowed to touch it I really want to touch it but you know I'm not really allowed to touch it but you know this is a really quite exciting product and I'm going to again have to ask someone to raise the screen because I'm not actually allowed to touch the remote control as well with the LG R9 rollable OLED which is an actual product that consumers can buy certainly sometime this year that's the target you can see that it actually just comes up to full screen for you to enjoy any sort of 69 content and the thing that really impresses me about the raising mechanism is just how slick it is in terms of the dampening this just rises so smoothly and also at the end before it actually reaches full screen there's a slowdown there's a gradual dampening to give you that sort of reassurance that a lot of thought and care and consideration has actually been put into this product to make this a truly luxurious product for obviously not for the masses, but for aspirational customers. And I would like to think that w this product will appeal to, obviously you probably have to be very wealthy to be able to afford this, but this would appeal to someone, let's say, with an open plan apartment. Maybe you own an apartment by the beach where you're overlooking the sea. You don't really want a permanent black screen sitting there blocking the view. So. If you want to watch telly, obviously you have to raise the screen. But if you want to enjoy your waterfront beach view or your marina view, then you can just lower the screen. And I think this is what LG Display and LG Electronics and maybe, who knows, other manufacturers are going to try and target that this is not your run-of-the-mill television. You know, this is never going to be affordable. This class of product is aspirational. It is targeted towards someone to whom money is really no object. They just want a classy statement in their living room where they can actually try and hide the screen and integrate it into their living environment without any obstruction, without any sort of distraction from the normal view they normally get when they look out their really large bay window. I need to actually try and show you a couple of other aspect ratios that the screen can be shaped into. So you can see all these icons on the screen and you can use this mode. I think LG calls it a live mode or something. I need to look it up because I haven't been reading press releases today. So this mode can be used to display information. You can listen to music and it will display the artist, the song, the number of minutes, things like that. You can display the time. And if you really want to listen to music, I think LG Electronics has actually told me that you can actually lower the screen even further so that you, know, you only see this box but the music will still be playing and obviously the screen itself will be off. 
Unfortunately, on this iteration, LG Electronics hasn't managed to implement a 21.9 CinemaScope format to watch, let's say, CinemaScope movies on the LG Signature R9 OLED, but certainly that's something to work on in the future. So this is the 65-inch rollable OLED, and unlike many other technologies that you will see in CES 2019, this is an actual product that you can buy sometime this year if you are wealthy enough to afford it. Okay, and we are going to move on to the next section, which is also of very high interest to me because it deals with motion. So here is a demonstration that should be of interest to you video enthusiasts out there. This is what LG Display is calling the Crystal Motion OLED or CMO. Now I tried to clarify with them whether this is actual black frame insertion which we know hasn't been very successful on OLED TVs due to the side effects that were introduced, namely a lower luminance and also an increase in flickering, especially in brighter areas of the screen. So what LG Display has done is to implement a different technology on the Crystal Motion OLED. And from what LG Display is saying, they are actually splitting the frame into two halves, and one will have the luminance half and one will have the black half. And then what they are going to do to try and combat the drop in brightness is to boost the luminance in the panel itself in those part of the screen that requires boosting to increase the luminance so that you actually don't really perceive any luminance drop and also don't really perceive any flicker and we have been quoted an improvement in the motion picture response time or MPRT to 3.5 milliseconds versus what you are seeing at the bottom which is LCD and with LCD you get like 6 to 7 MPRT or motion picture response time. I think on the 2019 LG OLEDs they have an option in the user menu called OLED Motion Pro. I believe that is actually using this crystal motion OLED technology and maybe you may see the likes of Sony and Panasonic using it on their 2019 OLED TVs as well. But this is certainly an improvement in terms of the motion resolution to try and give you a clearer picture when there's a fast object moving on screen. And that concludes my tour of the LG Display showroom and I think there are many products for us to actually chew into, the most exciting one being the 65-inch rollable OLED television. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HGTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.